Hey guys, so I know a lot of you are going to be very excited for this tutorial. It's been so, so heavily requested by you guys. It is my special occasions and events go to makeup look. So to prime my skin, I'm going to be prepping it with Hydroquench by Clarins. This is just a beautiful uh, moisturizer. And then I'm also going to be adding some extra hydration with my MAC uh, softening lotion. And I'm also actually going to spritz my beauty blender just to add some extra hydration to my double wear. So you guys know double wear is my ride or die foundation. It's so good just to give a really good full coverage. Um, as you can see I'm going to be using the color 1W2 because I'm a light warm undertone. And then I'm just going to be, um, yeah, just sponging it all over my face. Still one of my absolute favorite concealers is by Collection, it's their Lasting Perfection Concealer. I think it's like $11, but it honestly is amazing. I'm just going to be placing it underneath my eyes, just in a chart. <laughs> man I can't speak today, triangular um, formation around my chin, and then I like to pop a little bit underneath the arches of my brows just to highlight, and then I'm going to be just blending it all out with a beauty blender. No doubt you guys can hear that really weird rattling sound when I'm talking. I have no idea what it is. It's really annoying me, but um, just ignore it. It's, it's, you know, it's just my recorder and I'm going to have to get myself a microphone. <laughs> I always like to set my foundation just to give it a longer durability and more of a matte finish. So I'm going to be using, and I always do use this one, is the Mineralizing Skin Finish Powder by MAC. To warm up my complexion, I'll be using Milani's Baked Bronzer, and can we just talk about how beautiful their packaging is considering they're classified as a drugstore brand. It is so captivating, like I'm, I'm such a sucker for their packaging. Uh, you can also pick that up from makeup.co.nz and I'll link them down below for you guys. So to add some shape and dimension to my face, I'm going to be working from the Contouring Spectrum Palette by Zoeva, and I'm going to be using the lightest cool tone to contour with. I received this palette about a month ago and I've used it almost every day. I found it really great for someone like myself who's very fair. It's very um, forgiving on fair skin. So now I'm going to be moving on to the yellow um, banana powder and I'm just going to be setting it underneath my eyes. You can see I'm just having a little chat while I'm doing that. I have a feeling I'm either talking to Peter or Trent about lunch. <laughs> kind of be kind of weird if it's my dog. Oh, I love this blush so much by Sigma. It is like the perfect soft pink blush color for me, especially for someone like myself who is so fair. It just gives a really nice um, uplifting vibe and I always put it to the apples on my cheeks and take it upwards to elevate the look of my face. Lo and behold, would you believe that white powder is a highlighter? <laughs> I, I cannot believe I'm saying this. I used it as an under eye um, setting powder once and I went to work and it was crepey as shit all day long. So then I yeah discovered it was a highlighter. <laughs> so that one is from the Spectrum palette by Zoeva. So moving on to my brows, I'm going to be using the Gimme Brow by Benefit. Guys, honestly, I'm so impressed with the new formulation and new technology and utensils that Benefit have um, kind of like revamped the old gimme brow because this one doesn't give as much product on the brow. You don't get chunky um, parts throughout the brow. It's so good. And now to fill in the rest of my brow, I'm going to be using my YSL Couture Brow Kit. Uh, and so I'm just going to go a little bit slower than what I usually do in my tutorials just to show you guys how I shape my brows. I know I generally speed this process up, um, but yeah, I'll just show you guys kind of a little bit more slowly how I do do my brows. I do plan one day to do a brow tutorial though. <laughs> Using the new limited edition Trolls collection by MAG, I'm going to be using this beautiful matte ivory eyeshadow in the color Silly Vanilli, and I'm going to place it all over my lid. This is going to set my concealer in place, and it's going to stop any eyeshadow from rolling. So I'm not too sure where exactly the clip of me showing you the product has gone, but this eyeshadow is called Chamias. This is by Boutique. I use this eyeshadow all the time. You guys will know that if you watch my other tutorials. Very similar shades, so I use that in my crease and then I just blend it back and forth with a fluffy brush. The reason why I use colors like these is because they're really easy to blend out and they transition really nicely when you're working with other colors. 
And just to add some extra shading, I'm going to be taking it to the lower lash line. To add some depth to the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to be using the colour Funny. It's a really nice warm um, smoky brown colour from the new palette by The Balm. And as you can see, I'm just patting it to the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to be consistently blending it out so it diffuses nicely into that colour that I laid down earlier on. Back to the palette, I'm going to be using this colour called Fabulous and this is a beautiful shimmering highlighting colour just to brighten the inner corners of my tear ducts. This eyeshadow is very new by YSL. This is their limited edition variation couture eyeshadow palette. So what I'm going to do is take that really soft white pink matte eyeshadow and place it all over my lid with a flat hand brush. I always have to take my time when I say that. <laughs> I'm going to spritz it with that uh, lotion from MAC that I used earlier on. And then just to make sure, the reason why I'm doing that is to make sure that the glittery pink eyeshadow that I've taken from the palette transfers really nicely and the pigment is very strong. Elizabeth Arden have just launched this beautiful color, Bold Defining 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. Um, and I really, really like this one because it's very similar to, I'm very particular about my liquid liners. They have to be a certain kind of applicator. And this one's really flexy and bendable, which I like. And it applies a lot all at once. So I use that to apply my liquid liner today. You guys always notice when I wear these lashes in certain photos on Instagram. These are the Alessandras by Glam Eyes. And they're over the top, but they finish off any look. Honestly, they are amazing. If it's not Beige Pop by Clinique, it is their new liquid matte lipstick in the color Cake Pop. So this is a really nice hydrating matte liquid lipstick that doesn't crack and dry. It stays really comfortable, but lasts a very long time on the lips. So there you go guys, there is my special occasion go-to makeup look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this look for a long time, so I really hope you enjoyed. Okay guys, have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye!